I am here, looking at my hands. Those hands that took care and healed thousands of people. I witness blindness almost everywhere now. Why is it so difficult to conceive a real spiritual side of the life? People experience love, most of the time they experience love and they don't understand it. They don't catch the deeper nature of this feeling reducing everything to emotional and physical experience. At the same time people experience hate and all the negative emotions and they feed them without any limit. This is not the proper way. If we keep on splitting the spiritual aspects of human experience from concrete actions exclusively relying on selfish dimension we will unavoidably be doomed to extinction. We would lose the most important thing that should make us human, spiritual essence connected to real love. That is not just an emotion or a feeling. It is much more. We are living one of the most foolish period of mankind. Technocracy and selfishness are widely spreading, conquering the empty space where spirit should be housing, separating people, putting them one against the other. This is the triumph of evil. But we have a choice. Every day we have a choice. We can choose to follow the good. We can choose to follow the evil. The great Tibetan master of wisdom gave us this mantra entitled and thus I stand. I am a point of light within a greater light. I am a strand of loving energy within the stream of love divine. I am a point of sacrificial fire, focused within the fiery will of God. And thus I stand. I am a way by which men may achieve. I am a source of strength, enabling them to stand. I am a beam of light, shining upon their way. And thus I stand. And standing thus, revolve and tread this way the ways of men, and know the ways of God. And thus I stand. Personality dissociated from conscience is like an empty container, it is missing the most valuable part, the inner, spiritual part that allows that life to create marvelous things. Because we are called to accomplish great things. It depends from us. Which choices will you decide to make in your life? Will you concentrate only on your individual dimension, feeding your fears, self-administering a pair of blinders in order to ignore the others? Or will you make the difference? The real power of mankind should come from its unity, through reciprocity, from mutual support. This is our great opportunity. If we will keep on thinking exclusively in terms of individual interests, ignoring the others we will fail. If we will open our heart and mind to the others in the mutual support we will create a sort of paradise on earth. But now it is not. Which sense is there in life without love, feelings, emotions, beneficial projects, supportive aid objectives? Mankind is called to make an examination of conscience and a radical change in its behavior. Long time ago the voice of one was crying in the wilderness. Now the wilderness is all around us. It is our commitment to restore balance, we have the tools, they require a lot of work, dedication and study. It is not easy but it is simple as well. What makes the difference, it's us. Start changing your daily life with small gestures like repeating the Tibetan's mantra every morning. Change your way of thinking, the other is not an enemy, the other is my brother. Violence does not resolve anything, mutual support is a real tool instead. The future of the mankind depends from mankind itself. Many evil forces are creating chaos and are weaving a network of people, interests and projects aiming to create more and more unbalance between people imposing not a spatial distancing but a real social distancing indeed. As in every conflict the opponents are at least two. Which side do you want to take part? The good side is non-offensing, non-violent peaceful and combines heart and mind to create constructive healthy projects. We then say, repudiate the doubt, doubt is like acid, it just corrodes things. Neutralize your fear and do not live in a panic state. Use meditation and spiritual connection to reach a higher balance. In the ancient book of wisdom is written that wisdom is brilliant, she never fades. By those who love her, she is readily seen, by those who seek her, she is readily found. She anticipates those who desire her by making herself known first. 
Whoever gets up early to seek her will have no trouble but will find her sitting at the door. Meditating on her is understanding in its perfect form, and anyone keeping awake for her will soon be free from care. For she herself searches everywhere for those who are worthy of her, benevolently appearing to them on their ways, anticipating their every thought. For wisdom begins with the sincere desire for instruction, care for instruction means loving her, loving her means keeping her laws, attention to her laws guarantees incorruptibility, and incorruptibility brings us near to God. Look at your hands now. Look at what you can do to make this reality better. Everyone can make something. Everyone. I know that it could take a maximum effort but it's the only way to reach new goals. Begin neutralizing your fears. Begin to think in a new positive, constructive way. Begin going beyond yourself and your limits. Face your challenge and do not submit to violence. Start to rebuild yourself and with your actions you will change the environment around you. Energy follows mind. Mind informs the matter. Start thinking in the peaceful way and you will see that you will change reality in a new, different way. And thus I stand.